Welcome to this eGrow plant diagnostic video. Hi, I'm Brian Whipker, Professor of Floriculture at North Carolina State University. In this video, we will focus on magnesium deficiency of poinsettias. So let's get started. First, I'd like to thank the Fred C. Glockner Foundation for supporting this project. Magnesium. Poinsettias have a relatively high requirement for magnesium. Many areas have naturally occurring magnesium in their irrigation water. Areas without magnesium supplied in their irrigation water will need to supplement magnesium to help avoid deficiencies. Magnesium deficiency symptoms and management practices are the focus of this video. Typically, symptoms first appear on the older or lower leaves. Leaves develop intervenal chlorosis, or yellowing between the veins, when magnesium is limited. Typically, symptoms first appear along the leaf margin. As symptoms advance, the entire leaf will exhibit intervenal chlorosis. Symptoms will also begin to appear on leaves further up the plant. Finally, necrotic spotting caused by sunburning will occur. The symptoms of both magnesium deficiency and iron deficiency are similar. In both cases, leaves exhibit intervenal chlorosis. Location of those symptoms will help you diagnose which problem is occurring. Iron deficiencies occur on the upper or younger leaves, while magnesium deficiencies occur on the older leaves. Usually, iron deficiencies are related to elevated substrate pH levels above 6.5, so testing the substrate will help you confirm your diagnosis. Usually, a full substrate and tissue analysis test will be required to help diagnose magnesium problems. Now to complicate the situation slightly. Having just said that symptom location can be used to help diagnose iron and magnesium deficiencies, there is an exception. The exception is that late season magnesium deficiencies in poinsettias appear on the upper leaves just below the bracts. The next slide will explain why. Magnesium is a mobile element, and if the supply of magnesium is limited, the plant will remove it from the older leaves to supply the younger leaves. In the case of many plants with terminal flowers that bloom, such as poinsettias and pot moms, the plant will tap into the closest supply of magnesium, which happens to be the leaves just under the bracts. So that is why symptoms appear at this location. Another question which is often asked by growers, can I green up my plants exhibiting magnesium deficiency? The answer is it depends on timing. During early production, when symptoms appear in the lower foliage, those leaves will return to a normal green coloration if the problem is corrected quickly. Once plants develop a more intense yellow coloration between the veins or necrotic spotting, those symptoms cannot be reversed. This is especially true with late season symptoms which appear just below the bracts. Nothing can be done to regreen those leaves. So if magnesium deficiencies occur, what can be done? To overcome deficiencies, a drench application of magnesium sulfate at 2 pounds per 100 gallons of water is used. To be proactive in avoiding problems, a monthly drench application of magnesium sulfate at 1 pound in 100 gallons of water is recommended. Adjust the rate as needed according to the level of magnesium that you have in your irrigation water. For substrate testing, a target level of 30 to 75 parts per million magnesium is preferred. Also note that 201020 does not contain sufficient levels of magnesium for poinsettia growth. Supplemental applications are required in most cases to provide adequate levels. We will discuss ratios on the next slide. Also be aware that the ratio of potassium to calcium to magnesium should be maintained at a 4, 2 to 1. If the level of one of those elements is too great, it can have an antagonistic effect on the other two elements as seen in this figure. In this case, as potassium fertilization rates were increased, the tissue levels of both calcium and magnesium are negatively affected in decline. To avoid problems, fertilizing poinsettias with 200 parts per million potassium, 100 parts per million calcium, and 50 parts per million magnesium will help avoid problems. In summary, poinsettias have a relatively high demand for magnesium. Symptoms of intervenal chlorosis on the lower leaves will appear if levels are too low. Symptoms will also appear under the bracts if it's a late season deficiency problem. So make sure you supply adequate levels of magnesium to help prevent problems. 